welcome back to another episode of the poster tutorials earlier we made the batman begins and the dark knight poster so today we are going to complete our trilogy by making the dark knight rises poster so without any further ado let's get into it start by creating a new document and then filling it with black. Now import this image and scale it accordingly. We want to keep the bats and the background in the image but not necessarily the title so we can just adjust it accordingly. Now double click on your image thumbnail to open up the smart object tab and now create a duplicate. This will ensure that we have a backup of our original image. Now we are going to remove the unnecessary parts from the image. So I am going to use the lasso, the selection and the marquee tool and the content aware fill function to achieve the desired result. You don't need to be super precise with your selections, just a rough cut will uh, suffice. Now convert your image to a smart object so that we can apply the oil paint filter. I personally use oil paint filter to achieve a flow like look. It looks really smooth and also clean. Also it's a personal preference so you can skip this step if you want to. But as we did this step in our previous poster, so to maintain a consistent look, I am going to apply oil paint in this one too. I also removed the background but you can keep it if you want. Now create a rough selection of your foreground and make a copy of the selection. We are going to use it later on to create a little depth and to showcase our foreground. Convert it to a smart object and then go to filter, blur and then Gaussian blur. Now we are going to import our main subject and place it in the center to cover all the unnecessary parts. Now just remove portions of the cape so that only the legs are visible. You can create a fine edge by using a soft brush. Now, import this image and lower the opacity so to get a better idea of where we are going to place it. Now, we are going to place it behind the subject as we did in the previous movie poster. So, we are going to make a selection of the key and then create a mask from our background image. You can remove all the areas that you don't want through a soft brush. You can also add a blur to the background so to get more depth in your poster. Now it's time to match our level. If you are struggling with matching your levels, here's a tip. Create a black and white layer as your topmost layer and then adjust the levels of your uh, elements individually. The black and white will help you to get a much better ID. Now just to create some more depth in our image, I am going to use soft round brush with the black color selected and paint the bottom edge in multiple layers. Remember to use multiple layers with varying opacities so as to get more depth. Now let's add our title and I am going to reduce its opacity so that it blends better. Now just to bring everything together, add a black and white layer on top of everything.
and there you go our dark knight rises poster is ready